I start out with a chipboard page that I've added gesso to it and I'm using my acrylic paints. When you're using stencils, what I like to do is take a makeup sponge, just the cheap makeup sponges that you can find at Walmart or wherever, use the very bottom of the sponge, and you want to tap on color and then tap off. You see at the very top corner of my uh, page there on the craft sheet, I've, I'm tapping off some of the paint because you don't want a whole bunch of globs. And now it's just add color all over the place. I usually will like to get a different sponge for each color just so that it doesn't mix because I want really the true color in all of this. But your your mission, should you take it right now, is to throw on that color. And I really don't wait for the paint to dry. Because it's on pretty, pretty lightly, it doesn't take that long to dry. Um, but you might be dragging some paint through your stencil. And at this point, just go for lots of color. I always like to add black. Black adds a little bit more depth and dimension to it, so I'll always add black to everything. Now that our surface is totally dry, we want to grab some stickers. And you need to get stickers. This is going to work with stickers that actually have a full outline of the letter. You know, some stickers have a, a rectangle and then the letter is printed inside it. You want a sticker that actually has the letter. So I am going to add my stickers and I'm going to use a, a ruler. And I'm not going to quite stick them down all the way yet because I want, I want this to be centered. Now once your stickers are in place, you want to make sure that they're stuck down pretty well. And you see that none of this matches and it's not going to matter. We're just using the letters as a mask. And we're going to use some white or cream or a light color paint. And I'm just going to use it full strength. And we're just going to paint right over top. If you want to water it down just a touch, you can do that. I'm going to leave mine full strength and you can still see the color behind it, which is what I want. Once your paint is all dry, then it's time to pick up your stickers and reveal your message.